Hey everybody, welcome to episode 2 of Gamer Gramps Recommends, the show that brings you the most well-designed and executed games available today. Don't miss out on the best because you're too busy playing the rest. I'm Gamer Gramps and I've played more platformers than I can shake my knobbly wooden cane at. Today I'm recommending another game you might have missed, an amazingly well-executed pure platformer called Super Meat Boy, known for difficulty. We're going to look at lots of gameplay footage and talk about what makes this game stand out in the genre and why it's well worth your time and your money. What I love best about this game is it doesn't fuck around. This is a zero bullshit title that doesn't shove a load of filler garbage in my face. I'm not waiting for load screens or mashing a button to get through some useless speech bubbles. I'm not piddling around on an overhead map between levels or waiting for fireworks to finish every time I finish one. From the moment I start for the first level until it's time for me to take a break, it's wall to wall action. Maybe you've noticed that when I finish a level, it's like two seconds before I'm hauling ass through the next. That is not movie magic. I didn't cut out any footage here, that's just how Super Meat Boy rolls. And it's the same when I fuck up and kill myself. The level reloads instantly, and right away, I'm hauling ass again. Now about the game mechanics. The controls are tight and responsive. There's no, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that, going on here. Plus, the visuals are great. It's got a retro feel with crisp lines and contrasting colors, so I can always see exactly where the platforms and all the bad shit I gotta avoid are, and the hitboxes fit obstacles just right. Plus, there's near zero randomness to the levels, so I never feel cheated by a bad roll of a dice. To summarize, if I fuck up, it's my fault, and I should suck less. And that's how a platformer should be. Oh shit. Alright, now let's talk about what Meat Boy does that's fresh and new versus other platformers. First, on average, a successful run through a level takes less than a minute. This game is definitely tough, and it's unforgiving. Just about anything will instantly kill you. But unlike some other popular titles, talking about you Demon Souls, Meat Boy will only set you back about 30 seconds for making a mistake. Plus, there's a pile of other goals for you to work on when you want to take a break from that bastard of a level that keeps killing you, so you don't have to get stuck on the same level until you lose your shit. Seriously? Second, even the easy levels challenge experienced gamers. Super Meat Boy is all about speed. The level may be easy to complete, but finishing it fast enough to get the A rating or to get on the leaderboards demands focus and genuine effort. Also, most levels have optional goals somewhere for advanced players, either based on precision platforming or raw speed, which I'm going to talk about a little more later. So even if you're totally fucking pro at platformers, you're not falling asleep during the early levels. There's plenty of opportunities to challenge yourself right from the start. And finally, Meat Boy has this cool replay feature that makes frequent deaths pretty entertaining. When you finally finish a level you've been struggling with, you can watch a simultaneous replay of all your attempts. And all the blood and gore from previous failures stays on the level until you leave it. Some levels I played until it seemed like the whole shit was covered in fail. Uh, did I just get double tapped? Meat Boy includes more than 300 levels across many worlds. Each world has a different visual theme and, more importantly, adds new dangers to keep your game fresh. Saw blades and pits are just the start. There's piles of medical waste, creepy slime thingies, whatever this is, meat seeking missiles, lasers, disappearing platforms, lava, oh my god I buy lasers, Donkey Kong barrels, fans, orbs, what the f Fuck! Hungry ghosts, conveyor belts, salt, meat monsters, and the list goes on. When you finish a level fast enough to get the A rating, you unlock a tougher Dark World version. You can also find bandages scattered all over both the light and the Dark Worlds. If you manage to snag one and finish the level in the same life, you can keep it to buy secret characters with special abilities like hovering and air brakes. Some of these bandages are serious bastards, but the secret guys are well worth the effort. They're usually a little slower than Meat Boy, but picking the right guy for the level can sometimes get you a better overall time, so there's lots of replay value and experimenting with different strategies. If you're really quick, you can also jump into warp zone portals before they disappear to try extra hard levels with even more bandages inside, and often a secret character at the end. And just to make sure you don't get a big head, Meat Boy tracks your clear times for each level, and the total of all those times on the public leaderboards so you can see how your skill level compares to your friends, and the rest of the world. Yeah Tom, suck it! For difficult but short levels, and for throwing filler garbage in the trash where it belongs, Super Meat Boy gets four black and white pixelated dinosaurs for innovation. Tight controls, clear visuals, and challenge even in the early levels earns Meat Boy a perfect five black and white pixelated dinosaurs for execution. Unlockables that add depth instead of wrecking the difficulty, tons of levels with optional challenges, and global leaderboards mean your job is never done. I dock Meat Boy just half a dino for not having a continuous flow of community content, leaving four and a half black and white pixelated dinosaurs for longevity. So let me summarize. This game is fucking awesome. It's easily the best pure platformer I've ever played, and now that it's been out a while, you can get it on the cheap. If you like platformers and haven't played Super Meat Boy yet, I think it should be at the top of your list. Well guys, that wraps up episode two of Gamergrams Recommends. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on future episodes. Also, while I do appreciate the likes because they make me feel good, 
YouTube has stopped using them for video ranking. So if you really want to thank me for the work I put into this video, please click the share button below and share this video to your favorite social networking site to help me get this series out there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Gamergrams away! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, good. Oh. Damn, that shit was close.